Hello friends, and welcome to my room. I'm Chase Lindsay, aka Sita, and today I'll be your guide. A guide on what, you may ask? A setting tutorial. Let's get started. Okay, so that is the combo, and we're gonna just start right from the top. So the starting position is gonna be kind of like a capital T position. You wanna make sure that you have a strong 90 degree bend here. And if you don't really have that already, you can just kind of like, you know, practice this throughout the day or push up on walls or whatever. This is an intermediate tutorial, so you know, you guys need a little bit of a basic understanding, like you should have already kind of worked on, you know, your basic touch and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, capital T position here. And the first two moves are going to be real simple. We're just going to go pinky to thumb, pinky to thumb. We're just going to leave all the other fingers straight where they are. Then on the next move, these are just going to come in like this. And uh, you're going to kind of make like a temple thing with the hole in front. Make sure these overlap, right? It's going to feel a little awkward at first, but you'll get used to it. Now, the next move, we're going to slightly lift our fingers up, switch where we lift our pinkies and bring our pointers down to touch the thumb. So basically the pinkies are replaced by the pointer fingers and we're going to put our eye right in this hole. So let's start from the beginning. We're in a capital T. We go pinky, pinky, overlap, up, switch, down, eye in the hole, okay? Now, what we're gonna do here is kinda like a fixed point isolation. This hole is gonna stay where it is, but I'm gonna move my head to the side so that it aligns with my other eye. So we're gonna put our eye in and push it to the side, right? And then you can come back centered or whatever you like after that. Now from here, you have your eyes with these two circles, right? All these other fingers are going to come all the way down. So you kind of have like this upside down heart with your thumbs in it. And then your eyes are in there, right? So let's start, uh, let's start from where we put our eye in the hole. Eye in the hole, move to the side, all fingers down. And then you're just going to take your middle finger up only. And that's going to create kind of like this square around your, around your eyes, right? Now the next, um, the next part in the choreography is, uh, is just kind of like a basic open and close. One, two. Let's start from the very beginning. Capital T, circle, circle, overlap. Up, switch, down, eye in the hole. Eye to the side, fingers down middle finger up, and then adding on the open, open. Okay? Now from here, we're gonna lift these two fingers on the bottom up to get to where your middle is. So basically, we were here not long ago after we pushed here. We drop these, bring this up, open, open, and then go back to that position. Now from here, we are going to bring this these out like at the same time, right? So thumbs come back and these kind of like, they're like this, they're bent down just like at a basic 90 and they just come right up. So they just meet with the rest of your fingers as well. So we're here and boom. Now from here, we're gonna do a basic digit isolation. If you're doing this tutorial, uh, digits should have been like one of the first things you started working on. Everyone knows like, you know, digits are moving one finger at a time independently, kind of in a wave motion or, you know, whatever you want to do with it. But in this instance, we're going to be up here, right? And we're just going to move one finger at a time, starting with a pinky. So pinky, ring, middle. And then we're just going to leave our pointer fingers like touching. And they're just going to kind of stay on like your eyebrow line, like you got like a huge unibrow, <laughs> okay? But don't worry, we're going to get rid of that unibrow really fast because we're going to duck our head under and it's going to come around our neck and it's going to break it, okay? 
and that's when you're gonna get into this. That's where it gets a little difficult. So let's run it back. Let's start from the eye hole. We'll move through this part a little quickly. Eye hole, isolate to the side, fingers down, middle finger up, open, open, all fingers up, these fingers out, and then you're kind of like in your lookout position, right? Where is he, where is he? Well, pinkies come out, ring, middle, then we're going to bring our unibrow around our neck and that's going to kind of take your hands from this position to this position. So I'm here, I bring it around my neck and it breaks to here and then comes right back touching. And the whole time like your fingers don't have to be super perfect here, like just keep them back so that only your pointers are touching, right? Is, this could be like a little bit of a struggle for you. If they're like this, that's fine. If they're touching, that's great because it looks cleaner. You can work on it. Now from here, these fingers that are back are going to get pushed down into a square. Okay, so one more time. We're here in our lookout position. Pinkies, ring, middle. Unibrow goes around the neck and breaks, then touches again. And kind of like as you touch, you're going to push these down. So it's kind of like a fluid motion, right? So we go around the neck, break, touch, push, and then after that is going to be a overlap. So these two right here are going to just go right behind each other. It doesn't really matter which one's in front, but you're going to end up with this like upside down triangle. And then um, from here, we're just going to kind of like fan out the remaining fingers. So one more time, <clears throat> wave out, unibrow. Bring it around the neck, touch, down to square, overlap, fan out, and then from here, this is a little tricky. These fingers right here, these pointers are going to stay, but everything else that's on the bottom is going to fly up to the top. And what I mean by that is I'm basically going to, see how my palms are facing me right now? Well, I'm going to bring my fingers up and my palms will face you. So your palms were facing towards yourself. Now they should be facing towards your computer screen. So starting from the upside down triangle, we're going to go fan out, right? You can lift your thumbs up, or I like to keep them in just because I feel like it looks cleaner. Like You can do that, but I feel like it kind of takes away from this. And then you, boom, pull it all up, face the palms forward. Then you're going to go side, side, close, close. Okay? So, one more time. Fan out, throw up, side, side, close, close. And that's based off the music, which we'll get to in a second. So now you guys should be here, which is basically uh, your middle fingers up, pointer fingers are overlapped, and thumbs touching on the bottom. You've probably seen this before, it's really basic. Uh, basically your middle finger up here is gonna get replaced by the thumb down here and vice versa. But the whole time, these fingers are gonna stay overlapped. So we're gonna have this kind of like turn motion, right? One more time. Either side, preferably the finger that is in front is the one that wants to turn because it's more comfortable. And then from here, you're gonna be here and you're gonna go sideways, fingers in. So you just have a box and then you're gonna close the box like this. And that's the, that's the end of the choreography. So let's run it back from the very beginning and we're gonna move quickly. I'll slow it down at the end and then we'll start doing some music. Cool? Cool. So, capital T, pinky thumb, pinky thumb. Bring them in, overlap, you got your temple. Throw it up, catch it with the pointers. Put your eye in the hole, isolate the hole, drop the fingers. Middle finger up, boom, boom. Rest of the fingers up, boom, boom. Head under, break. Touch, square, overlap, fan out. Throw the fan up, side, side, close, close. Pointer, or I'm sorry, middle and thumb replace. Turn it to the side, close your fingers to your box, and then close the box all together. And then from here, we're just gonna freestyle. You know, if, if you guys are watching this, I would like to think that you have a little bit of experience and skill already. So just take things that you already know and freestyle them and try to connect them to what I'm teaching you right now. And you know, in the future you can combine it all together and that's how you're gonna make your own style. But right now we're gonna get to the music 
And uh, I just, I want you guys to freestyle just to kind of have it more, more natural, I would say, you know, instead of just like, okay, I'm learning c -Tuts combo or whatever, okay? So, um, let me play some tunes. I'm gonna just do it a few times, full speed. And um, you guys know the combo now. If you don't know the combo, run the video back, learn the combo. If you need to come back in a week, say this to your favorites and then come back for the musicality. But right now, I'm just gonna do it and you try to do it with me, cool? Freestyle. Last time for those that are feeling confident, if you just like did this whole tutorial and you're like, I got the combo, I'm ready to do the musicality right now, c -tut. this one's for you. If you guys are just learning the combo and you're gonna come back, this is probably unnecessary. But for those that are still rocking with me, this is the one, let's get it right now, okay? So basically guys, um, this is just for you to, you know, build your skills and like your understanding of different shapes and concepts and angles and illusions and stuff. I really just, I want you guys to learn this combo so that you can feel accomplished, you know, that's the whole point of the tutorial, but I also want you to take the fundamentals of what you learned and apply it into everything you know, like your tutting, your dancing, like your overall style, like decide what you like and what you don't, decide what you're good at and what you're not, and um, just keep growing, okay? Finger Circus, seat set, out.